Hi, and thanks for joining. In this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how to create your own custom post grid using unlimited elements for Elementor. So I've created some HTML and some CSS uh, with some cool hover effect for the post tiles. And what I want to achieve is for all my posts to be as background images in these tiles. And whenever you hover over them, you will see the post titles, the description, and a link to open the post. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unlimited elements. I'm going to make sure I'm in the correct category. And I'm going to add an add-on. Mine is going to be called magic post grid. and I'm going to click add. It's been added. To edit it, we're going to double click. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my HTML and my CSS. So I'm in the HTML tab, copy, paste, and in the CSS tab, we're going to copy our CSS. Great, this is looking good. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attributes. In attributes, I'm going to add an attribute. And I'm going to look here for post list, which is what I want to create. I'm going to call that post list. And I've added it. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going back into the HTML. And over here, we can delete all the blank items. And we're going to leave only the item that is going to have content inside of it. I'm going to cut that out as well, since this item is going to be need, needed to be repeated. And over here, I'm going to click on the Put Items button, which puts the items inside of the post grid. Scrolling down in Item HTML, I'm going to paste the HTML of each item. Looks good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the title to be a, a dynamic title that's going to come from our posts. And over here, you can see there's a show all fields button for the post. And we need to select uh, the exact field we want to populate into this HTML. So I'm going for title. And the description, we can go for intro text. And for the link, we're going for post link. And we want to replace also the image. I put the image as inline and in an inline style. So each item will have its own image. We can do this also using CSS. But right now, for demo purposes, I think it's faster and easier to understand. So we're going to go to post list image, or we can use any of the thumbnails, but I'm going to the image. And I think we have most of the things set up. The next thing we're going to do is to test this. So I'm going to pages. Let's add a new page. Let's call it post test and edit with Elementor. Let's scroll down the page. And we have our magic post grid. Cool, so this is the grid we've created. I see all the content is coming in and dynamically. These are the posts in my website. But I do want to have some more settings. Since, for example, over here, I want only two columns and not four columns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit. Uh, let's just save this before. 
exit to dashboard, back to unlimited elements, double click on magic post grid, and let's add some more attributes. So the first attribute I want is number of tiles on desktop. And the number, the default number will be three. And let's add that. I'm jumping into the CSS. And over here, as you can see, this is where this number should be configured. So if we're going to change this number, the number of items in a row will change. So I'm going to change that to the attribute I have created. And that's looking good. Another attribute I might want to add, for example, is the background of that white overlay that's jumping over the tile. So I'm going to add another attribute. I'm going to choose a color attribute. Let's call it overlay color. And the default will be white, but you can change it if you want. So we're going into the CSS. Let's search for the place with the color over here. Let's change that to overlay color. And now these two fields that we have added will be editable. So we're jumping back into pages and post test edit with Elementor. Now let's test this out. So right click and edit. And over here we can see our two attributes that we've just added. So right now you can see there are three tiles in a row. I'm going to change that to two. That's looking better. And let's test our overlay color. Let's just go for green color. Looking good. So that was just a quick example how to create your own and post tiles or post grid. You can add as many attributes as you want. And depending on your needs, you can use whichever fields that you want. And depending on your fields, please post uh, your feedback in the comments and update me with any requests you have. Or if you find any bug, that's also important to notify me. And I just want to notify you that our next step will be making a support for advanced custom fields. So you will be able to make anything. That should be released at the beginning of next week. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.